Okay, just develop. Tuck through the center. Well, I'm tempted to push here and block, but I'm not. I'm going to open up because that is the system we use. It's a practical method. Locking down is like a computer method type thing. It's uh, not really my bag. Okay, let's capture here so it looks nice they've still got the center pawns yep but it's nothing to worry about in that sense going to bring the queen here if they fall asleep we can take the rook if they decide to attack say with the pawn it can happen or does the knight just come and block <laughs> the knight blocks so they're not asleep so we could push the pawn here, if the pawn takes then we take, but then we sort of lose a pawn in a sense, so we're not going to work that way. Probably safer going queen side, king side castling now, I don't think there's too much to worry about, his knight it will be coming out to attack us. So we need to be mindful that potentially we're coming here, don't want to give them a tempo up. So what else is there that we potentially can do to put pressure on them? Knight could come here to pressure this pawn here, because we do have the diagonal. He can defend by bringing his knight here, defending the pawn. Because if he falls foul of attacking the knight here, then the queen squeezes in, puts a check on the king. King's got space to move to the side but then we can take the bishop so let's go with that one for now rather than giving them a tempo I think there's potential of something here nothing major but that he can save he's actually going for that so we could actually go here and we're actually winning the rook rather than the queen coming here and actually winning the bishop but Let's have a look at if the queen does come here the king has to go there king takes but then the queen can come in here i think i'd plump for because now this pawn has blocked the passageway for his knight attacking our queen so i think we're going to plump for taking the, the rook off But nothing set in stone because you know you get smaller piece attacking a higher piece his pawn coming down disrupting the whole show and his bishop is protecting this pawn as well as the queen so yeah like i just said yeah <laughs> so I, i'm not going to be taking the pawn with the queen because his bishop will take and his queen is on our knight now as well so that might not have been the best move to make after all that Eee. Knight takes the rook, pawn takes the queen. Wow. Can move the queen here. Then his pawn drops onto the queen. Yet again, circumventing. Ooh, I think we've um, over egged the pudding there. Can't take because the queen just takes. Knight takes with a check, but the bishop simply takes, or even the queen can take. Well, da 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 damn. Thought that was probably too fancy, but still followed it up anyway. Mm mm mm. Should have probably gone with the queen move after all that. Now then, <laughs> dear me. Oh, so what do we do? What do we do? Do we sacrifice the knight? Pawn's just going to take anyway. Bring the knight back around, attacking the queen. His pawn takes, we take, but then he still wins. Mm. Well, I think I messed this one up. 
cannot see a way out. But there is always a way out, isn't there? There's always a way out. It's just that his queen has got my knight for free. I've given them my knight. Wow, how did they spot that? That's quite nice. Bring the queen here, defend him, but as we said, he's just going to bring this pawn down here. Oh, it'd be better if he pushed that, but he's not going to. He's going to push that, blocking the queen. If he pushes that down, our knight is dead meat. Mm. Come round, attack his queen. Pawn takes, or the knight takes. Yeah, I can't save the knight, can I? I can't save it. Oh man, one over egged move. I thought I had it all sewn up. I should have just gone. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's disappointing. Oh, is there not anything I can do? Is there not a Morphe thing? Will it Wilhelm Stein it? Something. What? What is the something? There must be something. It's going to be just a grab here with a check, isn't it? Knight takes the pawn with a check. Yeah, that's all I can do. With a check. Probably wants to save his queen, but if his queen takes, we take the queen. Oh, well. So we have to try and make something of this now. It takes with the bishop. Interesting. Let's go with the check here. Pushes the pawn. Okay. So we're trying to make something of something. Uh, we don't want to go in front of there. Let's hold this pawn to ransom with the knight. Okay, so we've got a game here. We've got a game. So he's opening up his king side area even more. Going to take. Put another check. He can trade down now, so I can expect him to put his queen there to block. This pawn doesn't have any protection. Ooh. Bring the bishop here with a check. Be nice if we could get this castle and get this rook in the game. Let's get this castle, get this rook in. We're not going to be fast enough, but get that one there and then we could get the rook facing the queen and the king. That would be a nice top off <laughs> from a disastrous beginning although we oh my queen is protecting this square oh so I don't even need to do the night move but he does have the night blocker damn he's got the night blocker there right there e nasty Damn, damn, damn. Oh, yeah, so that's not going to work. Ah, man. Get the check. So the king's moving now, anyway. Oh, the queen's gone there, so I'll put the rook here with the check. If he moves to that side. Knight blocker, like we said. Okay, so... We're going to win a knight, I think. Oh no, we're not, because his king's going to move. Ah, no, he's not. Okay, so we win the knight. So it looks like we've grabbed the piece back. 
with a bit of an improved ish position we just need to get this knight out and i think we're still down though like plus two at the moment so he's coming for this pawn here let's take anyway got a bit of a momentary check on the the king and we don't need to move fast so it's plus we're plus one at the moment after all that obviously it's going to get that back got a bit of a check here oh they're into the night blocking aren't they let's go here need to get these moved up flight square of some sort or get the king across it's coming challenging now this is what i'm hoping helps us win some tempo yeah, he's looking to get his knight to come here to challenge this pawn i think Doo -doo 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 going to challenge the knight because we've got the pin still on the king although that's wrong again I'm going to lose the pawn Duh. so I'd have to move this first or move the pawn up So from a sticky position it's not finished yet but now is a uh, see if we did take i still have to check on the king anyway so let's take so i can bring my rook back if i chose to do so i might not do that i might just push the pawn up this pawn is going to be troublesome isn't it He pushes down, we push up, and he's just got it hanging there on the edge. Let's push this pawn up. Do have a check here. So we'll go with the check there so he loses that rook. So his king has to move to the side now. Didn't have to move like that though, I think he could have moved to the side here and he would have been able to take our rook so i'm going to take his rook now and now we've got a, a proper advantage wow that is scary unbelievable how we've come back there basically using the answer principle dealing with the key squares wow and now we're just grabbing pieces just block the king from coming across here and then we can just get a promotion unbelievable that was a shocking another shocking start position <laughs> it's coming for the rook just hide it down here Can't do that with a rook. <laughs> because you go this way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, it's not unbelievable actually. Um, this is the type of stuff we're actually training and practicing. The movement of the put the knight that was wrong let's go back have a look at the analysis because 
I think maybe the Queen move was the move that should have been made if we were going to make a move at all in that sphere. Because that really did set us back. Let's go here, let's get the... got to this position fairly quickly look at that gauge bar and um, we obviously did the wrong move yeah look at that terrible terrible wasn't the night move I think it potentially is the Queen move yeah You're straight off and then from there you know the could be the queen exchange or something or the other but that's a lot healthier that's a lot better crikey yeah so to come back from that shocking position play is quite amazing really look at that drop there so black is out and out winning now so we resigned ourselves to the fact and we attacked the key areas attacking key spaces capturing opening up the king space again still not showing an advantage but we kept attacking the opponent giving them something to think about we didn't really sit back and like do defense work we were attacking even though we had less pieces on the board so it made it look like we had more pieces on the board and we needed to get our rook we needed to get a rook i believe in place so that's why we castled they took we're still pressuring the king area with that capture putting pressure onto the king area again capturing attacking again trying to get equalization so this knight now is, is a goner as far as we can see and this is where we started recouping back the advantage but we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't understand the answer process so it's making those critical moves the critical essential moves that are going to try and give you the advantage in the game this is a typical game where your opponent has the advantage but you can actually come back yeah this is like where i've had advantage had advantages in the past in my games and then somehow the opponents just come out of nowhere with some fantastic moves that's because they're using the answer so i'm trying to learn the answer and practice the answer and this is a really good example of that making bad moves but then coming back from those bad moves using critical essential moves okay 25 just uh, support the palm So what we're looking to do here, attacking the pawn here, not looking to dishevel this pawn because you, we lose tempo with any sort of gambit type things. You've got if you are going to accept it, you've got to also accept that you're losing tempo in developing your other pieces. So that's a key thing to remember. I'm going to take this pawn. idea of pushing this pawn here onto the knight and the bishop if he does take might be a strange way of doing it actually because he does have his queen potentially coming there usually a bit of a stunner move but I've yet to see this movement here I've seen it done once I think knight putting a check here you know sacrificing just to open up the king area a little bit then the queen coming around about here to sort of maintain pressure etc 
Looks ugly, but I've seen it mess people up. So he's actually taken the pawn. So he's trying to open up space around the king, isn't he? And we still do have the options of taking one of these. So I think we can take that pawn. He may push onto the knight, but we still do have that tempo. I'm still thinking he's going to attempt to do this. He's uh, going for, let's go there. So we're still attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece. So we can take this knight off the board now. So that's a strange opening. I've not done that type of opening before. Which is good. So he's uh, looking to grab the pawn back. I don't have any problems with him getting the pawn back at all. See what we can do to improve. Come with a check. This pawn drops. Pawn drops. Yeah. This other pawn drops. Well, no, because his queen is probably going to take. Shall we try that? Queen check. It's got the support from the knight. And these pieces aren't developed yet. He does do that. So we're going to attack the queen. seem to be trying quite a few different ways of opening nowadays it's all based on the end game opening uh, concept which is sort of freeing me up from the basic openings that I'm used to doing so it does actually capture so we can go here obviously the knight's gonna have to run how uh, will we run here or run there which one do we do which is better for us If we're not forced to run, maybe we bring the bishop here. Try. Oh, we're not being forced to run. So bring the bishop here. It's attacking this square. His knight can come here, obviously. Well, at least this opponent's playing nice and slow nice and steady rather than speed merchants who are just not getting good positions with their speed I'd rather have a slow thinking process game so it's attacking our weak pawn here it's got nothing on it so we could attack the rook because the rook is closed in he takes the pawn we come here with our rook and I think that should be okay. Unless of course I'm missing something. What happens is you bring this down, we do it on pass on. If he takes rook here. Because even because when they do take the time and they do make the moves, if they're making duff moves when they're taking the time then at least you know that they've put some thought into the move in the first place and they've just unfortunately chosen the wrong move whereas when they move really fast you know full well they're not putting he's gone for it anyway they're not putting any real thought into it it's like copying grandmasters and international masters moving really fast you know thinking that they you know sort of like it's like showboating and to me it's no good it's spoiling the art of chess so 
so it's not bad but don't want to fall into anything whereby we think we're in a good position and then our king because our king hasn't got castled you know for a starter but it doesn't look like there's anything major that can attack at the minute I'm going to take this before we lose the advantage there so now he doesn't want he wants to get our knight so let's class that knight as being dead now it's done its job it's got a higher piece if it survives then so be it um, we can trade down now because we're up the exchange so let's think of it in that those terms could go and save the knight by bringing the bishop here and bringing the bishop there and then we can maybe queenside castle oh 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 you know we we'll get carried away with yourself this knight will just take it off the board so if we come here then we can go there but then obviously his knight can take the bishop there as well but I think his king has already moved has it not or not he can't go on king queenside castle now it's blocked off hmm we can look to trade down oh that's a nice pawn yeah we can look to trade down because the rook can take this pawn or the knight can maybe the knight takes to get free coming for the knight got to be careful he's going to pin the knight to the rook so we can either just move the king in front of his own pawn as protection so that we're linking our rooks up uh, oh and they've resigned okay that was a really interesting game actually for the opening side of things hmm over 20 minute five second game let's push through the center here let's grab okay that's a nice simple opening let's continue with the end game opening targeting weak squares let's just simply capture and we could do that but it locks down the center sometimes so we may just want to take it a little bit steady now and do, 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 do. let's have a look queen can come here but it allows him to push more on the center i feel there's something because there's a massive gap here right in front of his king area King safety, castle, let the opponent come to me, knight, no, this gap is looking even more appealing, let's go here, we won't get to any of these at this moment, but because it's just going to drop here, but it's food for thought, mm hmm so he actually wants us to take this uh, we take and then his rook comes here because he's got support of his queen I'm very sketchy about bringing my queen to this side because I've, I've got my queen trapped a few times in the past when I've brought it over to here we do have space here attacking this side but then his bishop just comes in front but we are preventing the castling process that seems pretty strong but it's not doing much is it there you know if it goes to this square yes it's in front of the king but the bishop goes here he may trade down his queen take take what's the tail of the tip take take and then his knights on our pawn develop the knight mm, not happy with that position bring the bishop mm. I'm gonna take the pawn He's actually gone for the queen exchange. <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't think that was going to happen. So we could come put a check on the king here. His knight comes and defends maybe. 
or do we just simplify and just take because we're plus one up at the moment if we simplify and take then our knight has to come here not a very nice position really because we're defending okay let's just take keep it simple don't get too arty i think i could have brought it back and stuff but i'm always um always mindful that watching the IMs and the Grandmasters are doing their stuff and the National Masters when they're playing the games and they're not exchanging the Queens but then later on in the game you find out well they could have just exchanged the Queen um, I don't really want to fall into that sort of um, remit so let's just develop here protect the pawn let's keep it as simple as possible Bishop's out is going castle in let's attack this pawn here it's got no protection on give them something to think about okay so <clears throat> we've done that let's just push this pawn up protect him I uh, don't really like this position because of the fact of this pawn so I'm bringing this pawn here to support this pawn because it's nice just sitting waiting to get that so now maybe we can go here and attack both of those pieces yeah I am doing that let's do that let's take his knight off the board here That's where Bishop can go here, but it's not much, so I won't bother with that one. Probably get these pawns lined up. He's going to be looking to support this pawn to blast through. So we've got dark square bishops each. so he's trading off and doubling his pawns so that might be a bonus for us so let's take that opportunity but also the fact he's got these pawns here rhinoceros in this pawn so there might be a plus to them actually doing that in the meantime let's just push this pawn here like we said Rooks down. Rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board like we say, but he's now looking to get to this square, isn't he? Before he doubles up, let's just challenge it. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Yes, he's come there, so let's attack. He can't really go back anywhere else because he'll get taken, so does he capture? So we're plus one we have been practicing the plus one <coughs> plus one scenarios do we bring our rook here to protect or do we bring it behind the pawn do we bring the king up let's get the king active so it looks like a majority on this side here but you know the, it can be a drawn position depending on how we play it um if we pushed too far let's just push here let's push here we would probably be tempted to push here because he's got double pawns oh no he's not doing so we could push here to block off this area altogether let's push there and the rooks come into this position again See, he's wanting to come here isn't he to come round and do some damage so in essence I can't really move my rook it's going to be a draw isn't it could bring my rook king here to attack this pawn he takes takes or is he looking pawn here <coughs> yeah he's looking pawn there isn't he Ooh. so if we go up pawn drops we take his rook takes so his rook is on in this open file <gasps> oh, drat. if we come up keeping this because he's, we don't want the rook coming here we come up with the rook looking active his pawn comes down, he's on both the rook and the pawn. Hmm, it's not going to make any difference, is it? If 
we move up one it's still going to win that temple how damage is it how damaging is it say the king comes up pawn comes down pawn takes rook takes king comes across attacking the rook ah rook comes down here attacking this pawn right okay so this is probably why we need to go here so that then his rook can't do that so I'm going to go here that's the back end of all of the trouble that potentially could happen as far as I can see oh no pass pawn he's going for a pass pawn oh does that mean his king can come down and oh no don't tell me and defend that pawn he's going to be in time isn't he we take he takes bring my king his king comes let's do it properly I take he takes I bring my king he brings his king I bring my king he brings his king his king is supporting the damn pawn yeah if I go and block then his king can come down here and attack these pawns on this side oh 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 so that's not what we want so we're gonna have to come across still holding this file so then his rook can do merry dances if he wants if he wants to push this pawn then we can take I don't think he'll do that I think he'll bring his king down into the game <sighs> so we're gonna have to go here I'm afraid yeah he's bringing his king in so if we come here <coughs> with our king maybe we can get this move off try and disturb the pawns on this side so let's do that don't want to overthink it now I think we're trying to cover off the danger zones of what the opponent's attempting to do scary times so now he's looking to disturb this pawn so the thing is we don't want to be pushing up here because his rook will come down and take the pawn on the back so we're going to push here first like we continue to do if he does push well, I'm going to capture as best possible he does have this if he goes his rooks come back into the game he's attacking the pawn which is nice can't go there just yet because obviously we're in check so we'll have to bring the king back down am I missing something come back down pushes the pawn yeah we're not in check are we so bring the king back down wow they're on night look how fast they've actually been moving they've not, not even broken the 19 minutes okay so he's protecting his rook now so we could in essence go here like this you know and then it's it's almost a draw we're plus one we might be able to dance with these pawns on the far side I'm going to attack the rook and he does exchange so we'll capture here so his king can't come to these squares can we do any dancing with these pawns not too sure yeah so his king can't come there can't come there so we're gonna come across and support the pawn majority ish that we've got over this side and see what can be done so I'm gonna push on to this pawn he may not want to he might push past we're probably having a bit of a okay so he's uh, gone that way let's go here so we'll have one one pawn on the far side might not be good enough though really because he can get a draw out of that but now he's got a bit to contend with really because we could swing over and take this pawn here so if he's coming down for that pawn then we're getting a promotion um, let's go this way safer let's go up so 
this queen won't get to help air protect his pawns because we'll have the queen so that that was a nice game but again they've resigned um, the element of speed really comes into play here I mean this was a 20 minute and 5 second game and the opponent hasn't broken the 19 minute mark so again they're moving really quick and I can't stress it enough to get good position on the board realistically you have to take a little bit of time you cannot find decent position going super speedy unless of course you're playing somebody who you know you've, you've caught them off guard and you know you've got lucky and you might get that a few times but in a longer game where you're looking at improving the quality of your game and looking at the art of chess in its purest form you really have to take your time Okay, 20 plus 5. Let's hit the center first. S simple. Let's go here. It's going to come through. Ah, that's different. Basically, he's going to be putting pressure onto this pawn, isn't he? Knight coming there. Mm -hmm. Let's develop the knight, protecting the pawn. Wants to get rid of the knight. Let's bring the bishop back, protecting the pawn. What's this rook move? Looking to come here when the bishop comes here, that type of situation. Is that a wasted rook move? I don't understand what that was. He could have gone and castled. So my brain is instantly thinking, can I take advantage of that? But there isn't much to really take advantage of at the moment. Let's go and attack the knight. It's brought the bishop back, so now his rook is on the pawn here. So there's a little bit of cleverness, but not too clever. we can bring our rook here to support or we can just push the pawn here just like that oh we've got another one of those lightning players ok he's looking to attack the pawn here I'm going to bring the rook here he's not wanting to castle very brave aha It's always tempting to push onto this knight, but rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. But nothing can challenge it at this moment in time. The rook's supporting. It's just the queen. So if we attack the knight with the pawn, his knight has to move. But is his knight attacking another piece? Maybe he's going to come and attack our knight, which doesn't have any protection on it. But then if we did take our knight is on his queen so then he's kind of forced to capture so then we can capture the bishop for free let's go with that well, he's attacking our bishop small piece attacking but we would win his bishop we'd win two pieces with the pawn so if our pawn takes Queen doesn't have anything behind to actually come and put a checkmate on. Take the knight, he takes the pawn, then so they've actually resigned because they've realised that that is going to happen. Yeah, they would have lost their their bishop. That's with moving too fast, you see. Ah, dear. <laughs> 